good morning and Merry Christmas. And if you are watching this on Christmas Day, then let me just extend my virtual reality gratitude fist pump. Absolute respect, thank you. Now, be quick, because I don't want to take up much of your time. And hopefully you know that by watching my previous posts and videos, I'm blatant liar when it comes to let's make it quick. But let's make it quick. Let's change the habit of a lifetime. Okay, this is about who is your greatest educator. And I'll cut right in there right now, won't even lead up to it. Buying are my children. That's my greatest educator. You can have one, you could have many, you could have a couple. I've got a couple because I've got twins. And if you are a parent, then hopefully this will resonate with you. If you are not a parent, hopefully you can find some value from this if you keep on listening and watching. And let me just say, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, right. Children are your biggest educators. From day one, when they start coming out of the womb, you are becoming educated because you don't get a manual. So that means that you have to dig deep within your resources and whatever you've developed from being the age you are at, when you have your children, those values, those skills are gonna come out and they're gonna be amplified. And mistakes, no, we do not call them mistakes. They are just learning curves. They are learning tools. Now, from the ages zero to one, and I'm not gonna go all the way through the lifespan, that won't happen. What will happen is just a little bit of a, an insight or maybe a different perspective from how someone may see it and the way that you've seen it, which you may agree with me or you may not, or you may think, hmm, that's interesting. Okay, zero to one, you're just working. Almost zero feedback. You feel really trapped in your delivery of value and you're not getting no, no remuneration back. You're getting probably zero back. You might get the odd smile, but that might be a fart. Anyway, so there'll be a time where your child starts to talk. It will say one word and you will become ecstatic because you would feel that your job has been fulfilled. So that dopamine rush will come and then Paradoxically, ironically, you will spend the next 80 to 90 years of your life, because we're all about longevity, to tell them to shut up. <laughs> then the terrible twos come. Now, the terrible twos, are they really terrible? No, it's your child or your children exploring life. It's just that you're not on the same wavelength as your children. You're coming from an adult standpoint. You've been there, done that, you've learnt the game, etc. And your children are doing things that you used to do, but they're doing them in such a way that they might kind of make you feel bad for being a parent. That you're being judged as being a parent is not. The terrible tools are not. They are educational tools for your children. That means they are educational tools for you. Now let's just fast forward, right? Fast track through education. We all want our children to be as educated as they can. We want them to be smart. We want them to be aware. We want them to be articulate. We want them to be analytical. We want them to be scientific. We want them to be a lot of things. And what we may want is what we want. So vicariously. So what we hope they achieve is because we really want them to achieve that. And that is a mistake that many, many parents make. And I've said the word mistake. Now, cut me down, hunt me down, post on this if you want, tell me I'm wrong. And I will agree with what you're saying and then I will disagree with what you're saying. And that is all about debate. Right, now, my arm was killing me so I had to change sides. Innocence, innocence I've been guilty of for using it as a label, as a term, as something that children are. I don't really believe that anymore. I believe that with stages, there's growth. So the developmental stages, you go from innocence, but you turn into something much more, much more aligned with your age. So from innocence, you start becoming more knowledgeable. You become 
more aware of your surroundings. But there's something that my child said the other day that gave me that knowledge that he is optimistic and is optimism that we are lacking, I believe. Not necessarily just for society, but possibly the whole world. There are philanthropists out there that are doing nothing but good for the world. Fighting and combating diseases, creating schools, educating life to those that don't have the access to schools, etc. So school reports, we want our children to be real good at their school reports. High grades. And I've never been that parent to say it's really about your grades. However, we would always like to see that because they get a better chance in life. Doubtful, because this is a, a world of entrepreneurship and social media has influenced that towards the degree that you make a post, goes viral, and then you can start selling your own brand, not business, brand, for a long time to come. And then you start changing. And that's what entrepreneurship is all about, you know? Holding on to something, not being attached to that something, letting go of that something. Opening your mind to everything and holding on to nothing. A very, very famous quote by the legendary spiritualist Wayne Dyer. Anyway, so we're going through their reports and one of my sons, he's kind of not on the level par of expectancy and that's another word that I can go into but I won't. However, he's a little bit short of that. And then there's one subject, history, that he's excelling in. And you know what? He takes that and he celebrates that with velocity. Velocity. So he basically spikes up his amplification of celebration for that particular subject. Forgetting about all the others. That is optimism. And that is what taught me something on that day. What it taught me is something that we have all lacked. What we look at, adults, business people, workers, family members, we only look at our failings. We only look at what we're not really good at. We don't take time and say, do you know what? I'm pretty good at that. And that is what happened the other day that spiked off this thought process that hopefully will manifest, translate into this video and tell you that I am shit at making videos, but I'm making it because I know that there is something that I say on this video that will add value to your life. I'm pretty certain of that. If that has happened, that I would like you, seriously, seriously, I get bollock all feedback when I do these videos. Do me a favor, right? Text, say, listen, you're full of shit, go. Or say, you know what? You've got something, dude, right? Keep it going because you are adding value in my life. Merry Christmas, peace and love, and not only a prosperous 2020, but one of those years that when you look back at 2019 and previously, you're gonna think, what the F was I doing? Because this is my year. Nice. <laughs>